Hey guys, welcome back to your review channel. Today I'm looking at a soldering station. This is a soldering gun and a hot air gun, basically. They dope, they uh, designed to do soldering. Uh, and I wanted to get something like a workstation and I was kind of going back and forth on which way to go and I want to fix something. So, I want to get this soldering station and I wanted to show you what I what I have here. Um, I did purchase this with my own money just to be transparent. No one sent this to me, I bought it myself. And I just want to show you what I thought was a pretty good deal. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And also at the, at the end of the video, you'll see a pop out at the end of the video as well for this specific item. So what is it? Well, basically it's a soldering iron and it's a heat, it's a rework station. So if you have some chips to remove different things, you might need a hot air gun or the soldering gun. So this has both. And I thought that was good. They're both adjustable heat um, settings and so forth. So let's take a look at it together. Um, this is the box, this is the instructions. Um, pretty pretty easy to use, pretty easy to set up. I just want to go over it and see, show you what's in the box and what's included in the kit uh, made by WEP. Uh, like this is the company who I bought it on, uh, bought it from. I think a lot of them use a lot of the same products personally, but we'll see. Okay, so I pulled everything out of the box to save some time to show you what's in the box. So what comes in this specific kit here is a holder for your soldering iron, which attaches to the actual um, heater element itself, the controller. Um, this attaches, it comes with a little abrasive cleaner for your, for your solder to clean the head, the tips. That's what this is. That's actually pretty heavy. Uh, it comes with two small spools of solder, just so you see here. Okay, two small spools of solder, which is really nice. A solder extractor. Um, so this helps remove some of the solder if you want to use that. This is what this is for. It's for the, um, the pump that sucks up the solder. This came in the kit as well. Um, different nozzles for the air, for the air part, uh, for the heat gun. Different size nozzles, which is nice. And some different size tips. This all came in the kit, which I thought was actually pretty good. Pretty good deal. You got a lot of options here um, for your soldering gun. And the actual soldering gun itself is right here. Let me show you that. Here is the actual soldering gun. It does have a protective tip on it as well. You have to make sure you just um, get these seasons a little bit. I think what they call it tempering or whatever they call it. You got to get that um, just a little bit of solder on it. Get that just um, primed, cleaned, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are changeable, these heads. You can change these out very simply. Just unscrew this. Um, then you can change these solder heads. That's easy enough. Um, this is light, not too heavy. I like that. And it sits inside the actual and the thing once we get it set up. So let's take a look at the actual solder station itself. Again, this is the actual gun part, the, the heat gun part, which is nice. And you can see it's a, so it's a large nozzle and then you can add these different nozzles on top. So that's how that works. So it comes with that, as you can see here, and also comes with a nice little uh, pair of tweezers. So if you're working on some components, you don't have to get burn your hands. You can use this tweezer, which I actually like that a lot. Um, so they give you, a, it's a good starter kit. It's a good beginner kit. I mean, it's not a high end, you know, uh, if you're doing this all day for a living, maybe not. But if you're a novice and you're looking to fix things, a hobbyist, definitely this is the way to go. Um, and so the back of it has an on off main power switch. You can see that. This is made out of plastic. Hopefully that'll hold up, I'm not sure. Uh, here is the cord, there's a three prong cord on the side. And here are the controls right here. The controls are for the uh, hot air and then also the iron. So it tells you everything right here, uh, really easy. It's not that difficult. And to install the iron part, all you do is this little notch back here. Hopefully you can see that. You just um, pop in this here on the bottom. It's like here, <clears throat> and that will hold, you just pop that in and that will hold your iron. And that just snaps right in, just like that. Just pop that in. Like you see there. Okay, Let's push that down, and that will hold your iron just like that. There. This is like I said. This is the extractor. We'll just put that to the side for now. We don't need that. Let's just take a look at the iron itself. And to hook up the uh, soldering iron, there is the soldering iron cable. What we're going to do is just attach it. Here is a one, two, three, four, five, six prong setting here. And it has a little notch, a little key, and you want to make sure those line up correctly in here. So you want to make sure that notch lines up correctly, and you don't want to break the pins at all, and then just slide it right in. Let's see if we get that notch correct. Here is the notch right there. And once you get it, just slides right in, and then you just screw it down. All right, that down. That's a little a little cheap construction. I mean, if I have to be honest, and I am going to be honest, it feels a little a little cheap. Um, but it was cheap. It was under 50 bucks, I think. So maybe 50, 60 bucks. So I mean, a good ones sell for about 150 to $200 or so $500. So like I said, for a novice, I think this is perfect for, for what I'm doing, honestly, to be honest with you. So it works. It's going to work for me. So that's okay. It goes in here. It's like you see there. Before you put it on, make sure you take off this tip. It'll melt that plastic. You don't want that to happen. Make sure you take that off. 
make sure this is tight and we'll pop that in there and you can see this is what I'm working with. It's not bad, honestly. Uh, I mean, I like it so far, it's not bad. Uh, and this little um, thing goes here to clean the head. I like that. Um, let's just take a quick look at the, the tips before I plug everything in, show you that. Here we got the three different size heads and they come with three different screws. So you need to just get these screws in here uh, get those ready. I would just get them all prepped. Um, I'm not sure it really matters which size it goes on. Um, and then just get it. And that way you can just tighten on with it like a, a Phillips screwdriver. You can see how that just slides on like that. Okay. That's easy enough to figure out. And then what you do is you put on your head, make sure it's seated all the way down, all the way uh, covers the whole thing, tighten this up, and then you have your different size ports um, for your air concentration. The smaller size, there's a really, really small one if you're dealing with a tiny resistor or something. Here's a small, small one. So you can solder, desolder with this or the iron, which is kind of nice. I think this is really more for chips, I believe, um, things like that. Also, you get different size um, tips for your iron. Take a look at that real quick together. Show you those. So we have a flat tip here, which is, I like that. Another replacement tip for this exact iron. So that's a replacement for this one here. That's that. Um, here is a, like a little, looks like a little knife or scraper thing. I'm not really sure what that's for. There's a really, really skinny one there. You know, like, um, almost like a, looks like a screwdriver. Maybe it'll just to get stuff off or I'm not really sure. Again, this is a new thing for me. So if I don't know all the uh, technical uh, terms, please forgive me. I don't, I'm just, I'm fairly new into this whole hobby of, of fixing things. So I'm trying to fix a camera and that's why I bought this, honestly. Uh, so check out that video too. I'm doing a whole video on how to re how to fix a, a card on a, on a Nikon camera. Uh, the card reader's burnt, uh, it's broken and I got to change it out. So I'm going to do that video. Uh, so just stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and you'll see, hopefully I'm successful or not. I don't know. And let's plug this in real quick. Let's just see how this works, how hot it gets. Let me just make sure I put this in here. I don't want to burn anything. Be careful with this. The heat gun, it gets hot. Everything gets really hot. I mean, this this can be just dangerous. So just be careful when you're dealing with um, these types of things. This is a short cord. Uh, that's the only thing I'm going to complain about. This cord, the cord that comes with it is short. I don't think it's even four feet. Um, but that's okay. It will, it will reach. It's a little short. And let's just plug it in over here. Thing. So let's turn it on. And right there, automatically, it's at, so this is automatically heating up the iron. So you can see what's happening here. Hopefully you can see that. Let me just turn this towards you more. You can see it's heating up the iron. Three, four, five. And anyway, what's going on here, so just to let you know, it's it's getting quite hot. Let's just turn this down. I don't know why you have to be so hot. Let's turn this down to 480, let's say. So it's gonna blink, and when it's done blinking, it's gonna mean it's at temperature. So 470, 468, it's gonna get there. It's 439. I'm not sure what's happening. What did I do? 481. Okay, so it's going back there. So it's kind of cooling down. That's what it's doing. 481. So you can see it dropping down. So it's adjusting its temperature. Hopefully you can see that. Let me get that out of the way. So 481, uh, that's where I set it at. So if I want to put it at 480, it'll just blink until it gets there. Once it gets there, it'll, it'll regulate. And this little light over here is flashing. Uh, hopefully you can see that in the video. And that's just regulating the temperature of this soldering iron, which is really important. So that's working. I like that. So, so far, so good. Let me get this out of the way. Hopefully it's just, yeah, that is definitely getting hot, definitely working. Um, and then you want to just season your solder. What do they call it? Seasoning? I'm not sure what they call it. Uh, but you want to just, just get a little solder on it. Smoke it a little bit like that there and just clean it off. And that's good to go. Just like that. That is all ready to go. Put that back in there. So that's how that works. So that's super simple to use. Um, so let's just shut this down. To shut this down, I think you hold the down two buttons and that shuts it right down. So that'll cool off by itself and shut down. Now to turn on the actual, this part here, pick it up. As soon as you lift it up, it starts going on by itself. Okay. So what it's going to do, it's going to start going the temperature. I'm not sure what the temperature is at. Hopefully you can hear the fan. Actually, the fan's pretty quiet. It's got to be a brushless motor. Um, that's it's coming out pretty hot. Definitely coming out pretty so it's right now it's at 572 degrees. And definitely I won't go too close to that. That's pretty warm. It's working and you can just turn that down like that. You can see how it's just flashing when you get to a certain temperature. Uh, when you're done with this, you can just hit the button. What's gonna do, it's gonna power down automatically. You can see it's dropping down. So it's going into a cooling mode. 
and it's going to drop down to about 100 degrees and after it hits 100 degrees it's going to um, shut that off and then you can just put it away but it's still warm so just be careful of that okay guys um, so I you know it's small it's compact it looks you know plastic and cheap but if it does the job it's really fine crank that fan up that's all the way up that's giving a nice nice airflow that is actually cooling down you can see how it's cooling down that's nice you can just put it down here and that'll just shut down by itself and it'll shut off on its own just like that when you put it down but it's still hot just be careful uh so now they're off and you can see that so if i don't turn the iron back on the iron goes back on whatever temperature you, you set it at um so typically probably what 380 400 right around there for, for a good solder depending on what you're working on which is nice i like that control i like that so all in all i think it's okay i really do i think it's okay i mean uh it's plastic but it does the job and if you're looking for something fairly inexpensive i think this is okay i do like it i'm gonna try and test it out i'm gonna do some soldering with it i just wanted to show you the unboxing what it comes with and what to expect when you order this i will leave a link down below i do get a small uh, commission as you know uh very very small but it does help me out and uh help support my channel and i do appreciate that so if you go ahead and support me and if you are looking for this type of iron definitely go ahead and hit that link down below and also there'll be a link at the end of the video and that's what i have for you so yes it is cool it does work and it does do what it's supposed to do it does come with this uh solder sucker thingy i'm sure you've seen this before uh this is nothing crazy we'll put that to the side but this is what i really wanted to show you and how it works so it does work um shut it down cut the power off like that that'll cool off on its own that sits in this nice cradle and um so far i'm pretty impressed i do like it it's not bad i think it's going to work fine don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoy my video also consider that super thanks that helps support my channel everything i do raise within the super thanks goes into my channel to help me buy new items because i did purchase this myself i buy a lot of different things to show you what they look like so you know what to expect i appreciate your time as always and i'll see you at the next review